What is good everybody? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. Today you guys will be joining me for another episode of what is new in scootering. It's that time of the year, Christmas is right around the corner, which means everybody is dropping their new stuff. So we're super excited to showcase it all for you guys today. And today we're gonna be focusing all around the Prodigy X scooter, the long awaited 10th scooter in the line of Prodigies. And we're very excited to show you guys it today. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here you have it. In front of me right now is the brand new Prodigy X Pro Scooter. The 10th in the line of Prodigies is right here in front of you guys, so let's talk about it. Before I show you guys all the beautiful colorways that the Prodigy X comes in, let's quickly just run through the specs. Let's talk about the changes and updates and what separates this scooter from the S9, because if you put these two side by side, you will really see that they put their heart and soul into updating the X to what everybody wanted it to be, and spoiler alert, it's here. So let's start top to bottom. On the Prodigy X Pro scooter, you will still be receiving the old reliable black NV TPR V2 grips. These guys are some of the most comfortable grips in the market and some of the most iconic, so safe move keeping them there. Moving on to the bar, we're looking at the same NV Reaper style aluminum bar, so you are still keeping the aluminum lightweight bar. The bar comes 24.4 inches tall by 22 inches inches wide. It does come with a pre-installed slit because the Prodigy is still running IHC compression straight out of the box. Moving down to the clamp, this is actually a brand new clamp from NV. This is their brand new Z clamp. As you guys can tell, it's still your typical double clamp. However, there is a lot of material shaved out of this clamp. So this is NV's newest, the latest, the greatest double clamp that they're putting out on the market. And it is now the lightest clamp that they have made. Nice to see it here on the Prodigy. I I believe this clamp will be sold separately at some point in time. So if you guys just want to get your hands on the clamp, you'll be able to. Moving down to the headset, there's a brand new change here as well. Envy is calling this their low stack headset. And the closest thing that it resembles in our opinion is a Proto Integratron headset. Typically, most headset dust covers have a slight dome shape to them. So they separate the deck and the clamp, helps give you space for your bearings, your compression ring, everything to spin through. However, what Proto and now Envy has done, they've actually taken the dust cover and smushed it so it's completely flat and it actually has the compression ring integrated in it. So you just slide one thing down, it keeps everything nice and set. It adds for this very flat and sleek look here where your headset would be. So to you guys that want to know at home, it's got all the technical bits to it, but for the people who don't really care, it's just a nice thin low pile dust cover. So shout out to Envy for doing that. Let's move on to the deck. The deck for the Prodigy X Pro scooter has been completely redesigned from the ground up. So if you guys have a Prodigy S9 scooter and you're thinking that the X deck might be a little bit different, it's completely different. This is not the same deck that you guys have on your Prodigy S9, so listen up and let me tell you why. One big, huge difference from the Prodigy X to the Prodigy S9 is they finally have bumped up in width. The Prodigy S9 came with a 4.75 inch wide deck, but on the X, we're finally greeted with a five wide deck on a complete scooter from Envy, which is super sick. I know they've had them on some of their higher end models, but for the Prodigy, I think having a five inch wide deck is the best bet. To be honest, in my opinion, I feel like, I feel like five inches is probably the new like, normal. I don't think anybody should be riding under five unless you have a specific style or trick selection that you're going for, but I think five wide is a perfect starting point for anybody getting into the scooter scene and isn't sure if they want a super wide deck or a super narrow deck. Five wide is going to feel very, very comfortable and sit very well under your feet. Another huge thing is that the deck does now have concave. I'm not sure if they just bumped up the amount of concave, but they did want me to mention that there is a nice amount of concave on this deck and just feeling it on my hands, I can tell you that I can feel it there, which is really, really nice. For those of you guys who don't know what concave is, it essentially is the deck dips in in the center instead of staying completely flat on top. It has a slight dish shape that pretty much allows you to feel a lot more comfortable on the deck, keeps it more grippy under your feet, and a lot of riders do prefer concave, so it's nice to see that the Prodigy X has it. So to complement the five inches in width, the Prodigy deck comes 19.5 inches long as well. The dropouts, not only on the front of the deck here, these nylon inserts here, there's also some on the front. These guys have been completely redesigned reconstructed, built from the ground up to accommodate not only the types of tricks that people are doing on these scooters, pretty much whatever Envy could do to expand the life of this scooter, they did. So the inserts are new and the head tube is new. You guys can see that the Prodigy X features a completely new head tube design than the previous scooters. Not only is it lighter, it is stronger. 
And personally, I think it looks better. So you guys can see it here now. It looks pretty cool and it definitely resembles an Envy deck, which is what I like to see as well. And the last thing that I want to note about the deck on the Prodigy X Pro scooter is you're looking at 13.5 inches of foot space, which is very, very comfortable. All right, so we made our way down the deck. Let's take a look at the fork on the Prodigy X. The fork is still the Envy Diamond V2 IHC fork, same fork that came on the Prodigy last year, making a return here today. Nothing wrong with the fork. Looks great, super light, gets the job done. I don't blame them for not wanting to swap that out. You guys can ride pretty much every wheel size on this fork. Envy does sell a bunch of spacers separately for 24, 26, 28, 30 wide wheels, so you'll be covered there. On the complete, you are looking at a brand new set of wheels as well. These are the brand new Envy Sector wheels. You guys can see that they do feature a new design that we have not seen on a complete previously, which I appreciate as well. Really, really helping this complete feel like a breath of fresh air from Envy. And to be honest, it's exactly what this thing is. So Envy Sector wheels, 120 millimeters by 26 millimeters in width. You still do have the 24 mil core, so you're good there as well. Inside, you got some Envy ABEC 9 bearings. That'll get the job done, help keep you riding smoothly. And taking a look at the back, you have the same wheel, Envy Sector wheel. Like I said, big fan of the way this wheel looks. So the last brand new feature of the Prodigy X that I wanna make sure I'm letting you guys be aware of is they have updated their grip tape. This is a new higher quality grip tape than we have seen on the previous completes. They really wanted me to mention that just because obviously the quality of your grip tape is gonna play a huge role in how soon you're gonna have to update or buy new grip tape. So the fact that Envy has updated the grip tape to be even higher quality just shows that they want you to be able to ride this scooter with everything that comes on it for months and months down the line without having to update anything. Shout out to Envy, grip tape feels good. You can definitely see the difference when you have it right here in front of you. And the final spec of the Prodigy X Pro scooter that I know a ton of you guys are wondering is how much does it weigh? The Prodigy X Pro scooter comes in at 7.2 pounds, making it one of the lightest Pro scooters on the market. But one huge key selling point around all of that is not just the weight. Yes, is the Prodigy X super light? Yeah, it is super light. But did it skip any of the key fundamentals and things that a scooter needs to not only remain durable and reliable and strong? And they didn't skip any of it. The Prodigy X is still incredibly strong, incredibly reliable. It looks great and it is lighter than ever. And for the 10th version of this scooter, I don't think we expected anything less. And just to give you guys a bit of a weight comparison, I mentioned that the Prodigy X weighs 7.2 pounds and the Prodigy S9, which came out a year or two ago, comes in at 7.7 .7 pounds. All right, well, we got through all the technical stuff and now we can finally showcase all the beautiful colorways that the Prodigy X comes in. The first color we're gonna be taking a look at is teal. As you guys can see, this color looks great. I hope the camera is doing justice because this is not your everyday teal. This is a very, very candy paint, glossy teal. It's a really nice teal. I don't know how else to put it. It's a really, really nice teal. And when you guys start to see these in person, you'll understand. You guys can see you have the teal deck and you have the teal urethane on the black core wheels. Everything else on the complete is completely murdered out, except you have a bit of white here on the grip tape where it says Prodigy. I like that. And you guys notice there's an X in the O it's for Prodigy X. So we got teal, looks super sick. Honestly, one of my favorite colorways of the new series. And here on the bottom, you got the brand new Prodigy graphic, nice and holographic, big fan. Either way, super sleek, super nice, very lightweight, and big fan of this color but let's check out the other ones. All right, next up is gold. If you guys ever saw or purchased the Ivan Jimenez Signature AOS V5 LTD deck, the gold on that deck is very, very similar to the gold here. This one's a bit more orangey, but big fan of it. It definitely pops, and as you guys can see, it's the only thing that has color on the whole scooter, and there's a reason for that. When you're riding around, you have your murdered out scooter and your gold deck so you can flex on all your friends. As you guys can see here on the bottom, it's pretty much rinse and repeat through all the colorways. They all feature the same bottom graphic, but I'll show you guys just so you guys have validation that you know what the bottom of the scooter looks like. Super sleek, very light, but that's gold. Next up is black and oil slick. Another color that we have seen Envy do before. I'm happy to see it return. Essentially, you have a completely black scooter. However, you have black on neochrome wheels and you also have a neochrome clamp. Other than that, the rest of the scooter is completely black, but I love the pop of the color in the wheels and the clamp. I think it's balanced just right. It's not too much oil slick and it still looks super sleek. Here's the bottom of this one. Oh yeah. Next up is Neochrome or oil slick. I believe Envy actually calls their Neochrome oil slick 
everybody kind of does it different, but Neochrome and Oil Slick are the same colors, and this guy is the opposite. Instead of having primarily black parts and a little bit of color, you have the full Neochrome deck, which, once again, I'm a fan of. I really love the pattern here on the side of the deck and under the deck that you guys will see in a sec. It's something that we've seen Envy incorporate on the S9s, but the pattern in the Oil Slick or Neochrome is something that not a lot of other brands are doing, and it's something that I believe you guys should be paying attention to and appreciating because doing stuff like this is not easy, especially on aluminum scooter decks. Another color difference between the other guys is this guy comes with black on silver wheels, which I will say, I think was a great move. And the Neochrome deck looks great. So you guys can see more of that pattern underneath here and just look at how, look at how, how do you do that? I can appreciate the work that has gone into this. So once again, Envy, great job. Denny, Tony, if you're watching this, I love you. And moving into the final colorway of the Prod GX Pro scooter and my personal favorite, this is Burnt Pipe. Another colorway that we have seen Envy previously do, but they have been refining it and refining it. And I think they finally got the perfect mixture of blues and purples in the Burnt Pipe this time around. And I'm, I'm a big fan. This is my favorite colorway of the Prod GX. Personally, I just like more dimmed down, subtle versions of scooters. And since this guy is primarily black and just has the tint of blue and purple. I love it. This is a color that I would ride on my scooter. For those of you guys who don't know what Burnt Pipe is, Burnt Pipe is essentially like Neochrome or Oil Slick that has the greens and the blues and the pinks, but it's pretty much just focused down to blues and purples only. So if I rotate this deck, you'll see it's primarily blue, primarily purple, maybe a touch of gold in there, but it's essentially Neochrome or Oil Slick, but just with blues and purples. Root Industries calls it Blu-ray, NV calls it Burnt Pipe, apples and oranges, it, it's the same thing. Either way, Another amazing colorway from Envy, and I'm a big fan of this one. All right, guys. Well, that is it. That is every color of the Pride GX Pro Scooter. The link for all of these will be down below. But I think it's finally time that we roll into the Pride GX Street Edition Pro Scooter. Here in front of you is the brand new Prodigy ST Pro Scooter. So they've actually renamed it. It's not the Street Edition. It is now the ST like a Ford Focus ST, like three of the guys that work here drive. But either way, is this scooter a huge upgrade from the previous Street Edition? Did they make it better? Did they make it more street? They did. Spoiler alert, they, they did. Let's quickly run through all the new specs, all the changes of the Prodigy ST Pro Scooter, and let's see, let's see what's cooking under the hood of this bad boy like that under the hood, because it's a car. They made a car reference, ST, okay. All right, so just like the Prodigy X, let's run down the top all the way down to the bottom of the Prodigy X ST, and let's see what's cooking under the hood. Starting off at the top, same thing, black NVTPR V2 grips, all reliable. Can't go wrong. When it comes to the bar on the Prodigy X ST, you're looking at a 4130 chromoly steel, fully butted with two T's, steel T-bar. Let's talk about the brand new Envy Essential SES clamp. So this right here is one huge improvement from last year's street model to this one. Previously, the other street edition pro scooters still ran IHC compression, which wasn't bad, but for a street edition pro scooter, you would think that they would opt out for SCS, and that's exactly what they did here. So the Essential SCS is a bit of a redesign from the Omen SCS. It's slimmer, it's lighter, and the Prodigy X ST comes with SCS compression straight out of the box which is exactly what we here at The Vault believe that every Street Edition Pro Scooter should have on it. So, Essential SCS, this guy fits oversized and standard size bars. It features six mil M8 bolts here, and it has a nice Prodigy ST graphic right here. So, very, very, very good decision to MV for finally putting SCS on the Street Edition Pro Scooter, so thank you. We love you. Moving down to the headset, this guy features the same brand new low stack headset that the Prodigy X featured. So super slim, super sleek, low profile. You won't even know it's there. And making our way down to the deck. This is practically the same deck as the Prodigy X. It features the same head tube and the same extrusion, except 
There are some differences here on the back end that we will get to shortly. Head tube angle wise, both completes feature an 83.5 degree head tube angle. The Prodigy X ST does come larger than the Prodigy X. So you're looking at 5.5 inches wide by 21 inches long. So very comfortable size. And I think the additional half inch in width does cater more to street riders. So it's a bit bigger and it's gonna be a bit more comfortable when doing all those pretty sick street tricks that you guys are doing with this guy. Moving on to the back end of the Prodigy X ST. This is where things get spicy. Previously on the other Street Edition Pro Scooters, Envy was putting their square deck ends on the back end of the deck. So the deck would come not squared and then they would add on the squared ends. And those worked great. Since they were nylon, they slid beautifully. They did their job perfectly, but Envy decided to go more street on this guy. And what they ended up doing was completely replacing the back end of the deck. So you guys can see here, no longer do you have plastic nylon deck ends on the back end of your deck. These guys have been completely replaced with brand new Envy aluminum plugs. They have now matched what the other competitors and other brands in the scooter scene have been doing. We have all discovered that using aluminum plugs here on the back is the best way to increase the durability of the squared end deck and just gives it as much life as possible. So these guys are completely redesigned. They're lightweight since they're aluminum and they're gonna last a lifetime. So shout out to Envy for that. And they look really, really great as well. So you have a fully squared back end for 5.0s and 50s. You're not gonna be slipping out of them. And those deck ends will keep you rolling for months and months and months and months and months down the line. When it comes to the wheels on the Prodigy XST, you guys are looking at the brand new sector wheels, 120 by 26 millimeter, 24 at the core. Same thing that I said with the Prodigy X, but just in case you missed it, so brand new wheel, super, super sleek design and pre-installed bearings obviously in them as well. Prodigy X ST does come with a brand new grip tape. You guys can see the Prodigy X ST logo here as well. And if we take a look at the bottom, nothing else has really changed. You have the cutout here for reduced weight, added graphic and everything else is pretty much dialed in. So you guys can really see the, the bottom of the deck here. So they're fully squared deck from bottom to top with those aluminum plugs. This guy's gonna last a lifetime and I think it was a great move on Envy's part to get these on. The last thing that I wanna note about the Prodigy X ST Pro Scooter, of course, is the weight. This guy comes in at 7.9 pounds, which is very light for a scooter of this size and capability. And just to give you a reference, Last year's model, the Prodigy S9 Street Edition, weighed 8.8 .8 pounds. So from last year to this year, they have shaved a full pound off of this scooter, making it one of the lightest Street Edition Pro Scooters on the market, and honestly, one of the lighter completes on the market in general. So. Good job, Envy. All right, so now that we have finally ran through all of the specs of the Prodigy X ST Pro Scooter, let's showcase the three beautiful colorways that it comes in. Starting with my favorite, gray. Why is gray my favorite color? Because look at it, it just looks good. It's all black with a gray deck. I don't know about you guys, you don't need all that color. You could just do black and gray and it looks good to me. Either way, gray is my favorite colorway. It features all black parts with the gray. It's almost like a transparent black colorway, so it's not necessarily just a solid gray. It looks like they just did transparent black over the raw. So if you've ever had a Aztec 666 deck or even the Nicky Martinez Affinity Bars, those come in a transparent black or like a gunmetal and Envy has it here on the ST. So I'm hyped to see it. On the bottom here, you guys can see it's all gray and you have the reflective Envy logo here on the bottom doing its thing. All right, so that is gray. Let's check out the other colors. Next up is white. White comes with a nice gloss white deck. You have white urethane on a black core wheel, and you also have white on black mixed TPR grips just to help tie into the color scheme a little bit more, and I'm a big fan of that as well. Nothing is different between this scooter and the last one that I showed you other than the colorway. So there's not much to show, but if you guys are a fan of white scooter products, there's not a lot of them in the market, so when you see something come out in white, you should definitely take into account that it's probably pretty unique. But if you want something that's different, like I said, white is something that you don't see a lot of, so I really respect Envy for throwing it on the ST. And if we take a look at the bottom, you guys can see it's the exact same scooter but primarily white and the reflective logo still looks beautiful. And the last colorway of the Prodigy X ST Pro Scooter is black and teal. 
So this guy comes in all black, except you have teal on teal wheels and black on teal TPR grips on the top. So the color is very minimal. It pops here at the bottom, it pops here at the top, and it's neutral all the way through. So this is a good looking scooter. Great looking colorway. Once again, very minimal. You could buy this guy, eventually take off the wheels and the grips, throw in a new color, and it's gonna be a completely different looking scooter. So another good thing to keep in mind. Taking a look at the bottom of the black and the teal, it's exactly what I expected. <laughs> Same thing as the other one. But as you guys can see, there it is. That pretty much wraps up everything there is to see of the Prodigy. X ST Pro Scooter. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. I want to give a huge shout out to Envy for not only allowing us to review these scooters, but also showcase them to you. In our opinion, Envy is an essential brand here in the scooter industry, and seeing the differences and all of the input that they took into account when changing and updating these scooters really does show that they are listening to you guys and they're listening to us. So there's little things all over these scooters that you guys might not notice, but somebody at Envy took them into account, like cutting the grip tape around the brake bolt or switching to biodegradable bags in the box, reducing the amount of plastic that they're dumping in the environment. They're doing everything that they can to not only benefit the environment, but also produce high quality scooter parts for you guys. So shout out to Envy. Tony, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Denny, thank you again. And if any of you guys watching at home are interested in buying a Prodigy X or a Prodigy XST, the links will all be down below. So check them out. We got them. Christmas is right here. So we're really excited for you guys to get a hold of these. Before you head out, make sure to like the video, drop a sub, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload. And until the next video, have a good one, you guys.